Hello students a warm welcome in my youtube channel in this video we will discuss about management of asphyxia neonatrum specially we will be focusing on neonatal resuscitation first we will discuss what do you mean by asphyxia neonatrum neonatrum means in the neonates asphyxia means there will be difficulty in breathing so there are two terms that are included in asphyxia one is hypoxia second is hypoxemia hypoxia with hypoxemia is asphyxia what do you mean by hypoxia hypo means decrease lack of oxygen in the tissues that will be hypoxia hypoxemia is hypo decrease ixmia matlab it will be in the blood to lack of oxygen or decrease oxygen content in the blood so what is asphyxia neonatrum asphyxia it is characterized by progressive hypoxia hypercapnia hypercapnia is increase carbon dioxide level hypoperfusion because of decrease oxygen there will be decrease perfusion between the cells and acidosis acidosis means the ph is going to decrease for neonatal resuscitation there will be two parts this is the part 1 in the second part we will discuss the management first part we will discuss what is asphyxia neonatrum what is the pathophysiology and what are the equipments that are required for neonatal resuscitation now we will see what is the pathophysiology of new asphyxia neonatrum first is hypoxia as we have seen that there will be decrease oxygen in the tissue because of decrease oxygen the child will try to compensate that will lead to increase respiratory rate when the asphyxia it is continuing then what happen the respiratory rate it is ceases it will be blocked down and the infant will go into the apnea this is known as primary apnea what are the signs and symptoms of primary apnea the heart rate will be decrease the neuromuscular tone it is also decrease that means the activity of the child they are going to decrease and the bp is normal what is the management of primary apnea as the child or neonate is going into the primary apnea the tactile stimulation can be given so that the child can able to reinitiate the respiration if the asphyxia is continuing and the infant is going because there is lack of oxygen the child or neonate will go into the deep gasping decrease heart rate is very very decrease bp is also going to decrease and infant is flaccid flaccid means not responding it is known as secondary apnea that is infant is unresponsive to stimulation and need ppv that is positive pressure ventilation in the part 2 we will discuss what is tactile stimulation and what is ppv now we will see equipments of neonatal resuscitation the equipments are divided into various categories according to function one is suction equipment including meconium aspirator mechanical suction suction catheter of 10 12 and 14 french and mucus aspirator bag and mask equipment including neonatal resuscitation bag face mask oxygen with flow meter and tubing intubation equipment laryngoscope with blade 04 preterm and 14 term extra bulb and the batteries for laryngoscope endotracheal tube with internal diameter 2.5 to 3.0 3.5 and 4 mm stillet and the seizures medication like epinephrine ns rl naloxone hydrochloride and soda bicarb miscellaneous equipments include watch with second hand that means second should be visible in the watch radian former linen shoulder roll gauze piece stethoscope syringe 1 ml 2 ml 5 ml 10 20 and 50 ml feeding tube six french adhesive tape umbilical catheter three way stop cocks and gloves so a video for the equipments with their images will be uploaded soon thanks for watching do like comment share and subscribe